Hi, I'm Mark Nicholson. I'd like to show you an overview of some of the new features in ZMAX 12 Release 2. For an in-depth look at these features, there are separate uh, videos, uh, but I just want to show you some of my favorite things. Okay, so the first thing we've done is reorganize the tools menu to make it easier for you to find the things that you're looking for. So under design, we've got everything to do with optimization, quick focus, quick adjusts, A spheres, uh, glass choice, and so on. Under modify, we have everything to do with tilt decenter elements, adding fold mirrors, making double pass local to global. And under catalogs, we've got all of our catalogs now in the one place. And under sources, we have everything to do with sources in one place. Next, we've added Autodesk Inventor 2013 to the list of programs supported by Partlink so that you can have dynamic access to an Inventor part as well as SolidWorks parts. Also, for both SolidWorks and Inventor, we've added Assembly Link that lets you pull in an assembly into ZMAX. So if I choose this lens turret, in comes the entire lens assembly as a single item. Next, we've improved a lot of uh, what we've done with radiant source models. So as well as getting all this really accurate data, we've added the ability to see alignment images of the LEDs or whatever kind of source it is that you're using, so that you are sure where your optical parts are mechanically. And you can also see the effects of inhomogeneities and such like that distort the image coming across directly on the measured data. You can really see here with all these electrodes, the shadows being crossed by the electrodes, the distortion of the this die here, the distortion over here, this gets you the most accurate measurements uh, of, of real source data straight into ZMAX so that you can do your designs. Also, we've improved how you generate rays from these sources. Previously, you could only generate rays on a normal plane, but now you can generate rays on any shape that you like. The visual optimizer lets you pick up anything that you've defined as a variable and adjust it easily by hand whilst all the windows that are open automatically update. So if we click on Tools and Design and Visual Optimization, ZMAX picks up uh, everything that we define as a variable. It gives us some suggested ranges. We can override those suggestions, of course. And as we make parameters change, you can see the layout, the MTF, the relative illumination, the image simulation plots are all changing in real time as I just pan this value around. So the visual optimizer is great for making rough design choices, setting up starting points, tolerance sensitivities and such like. Really useful capability. The ZMAX part designer is what we now call the, the script object editor. And it is a really a miniature CAD program inside of ZMAX that you can use for whatever purpose you want. In this case, I'm just going to pick up this particular LED uh, example. And you can see how we generate this model like so. I'd make a scaled version of this. I take the difference from the union in color. And then look at this. I'm, got, I'm, I'm using a command here, extrude cathode. If I look under sketch mode, cathode is a sketch. We just drew it by hand. And then in the script, we're just extruding that to give us some thickness there. I do it again, union, color, and so on and so forth. This gives me a really powerful CAD capability straight into ZMAX. With IE, you can take this part in and still have it under full parametric control. For EE, you can export now to IGES, STEP, SAT, and STL. And of course, you can use this as any, for any kind of CAD purpose as well, not, not just for creating custom parts for ZMAX. In addition, there's a host of other features that users have requested. For example, uh, you can now 
update bitmaps much faster than we used to be able to do. So bitmaps now draw instantaneously, but we still have the ability to zoom and pan on them, uh, which we had before. But the bitmaps themselves now redraw instantaneously when you change things. And this has a big impact on a whole host of features that now just appear to work much faster because the bitmap redrawing uh, goes so much faster. We've also added the polarization and thin film coatings capabilities into the SE version of ZMAX. And we've added a tool that lets you convert between different types of A-spheres. So you can convert between even A-sphere, extended A-sphere, and the Forbes types A-spheres. And these exciting new features make this the most powerful ZMAX release yet, uh, with enhancements in all editions of the program. We hope you enjoy using it. Thanks very much.